If you're lucky, you might get a rare sighting in the skies above you around about now. A total lunar eclipse when the shadow of the Earth casts a reddish glow over the moon will coincide with the so-called supermoon. And that means the moon is closest uh, at its closest point to the Earth in its orbit and it may appear bigger and brighter than usual. This is a live shot at the moment. It's got a bit of a reddish uh, tinge to it as you can see and uh, the clearer skies uh, for people our viewers in North and South America Europe Africa and the Middle East if you miss it it won't happen again until 2033 but before you do rush over to your window and away from the television we've got uh, Keith Cowing editor of nasawatch.com joining us uh, from Washington Keith can you uh, can you see it from where you are yeah, the clouds keep coming and going. It's rather dramatic, but there's definitely an eclipse underway. Okay, brilliant. Now, uh, explain the science of this for us. Well, the, these happen several times a year, and it has to do with the fact that the moon orbits the Earth, and uh, normally the sun just, you know, shines, shines in the moon, but sometimes the Earth gets in the way, and when it gets in the way in a certain angle, the light goes through the Earth's atmosphere, and as this shadow, sort of like a big searchlight, sweeps across the moon, you'll sometimes get colors. Now, as you uh, aptly described a moment ago, um, it just so happens this is happening at a full moon when the moon is the closest it's going to get to Earth for a while. And so you've got all the things on top of it. News media have to use the word super to put on top of what's happening. Okay. And I mentioned earlier the next time is 2033. The last time was 1982. Well, why, why so long apart? Well, this is, it has to do with the dance of the Earth and the Moon and the Sun and just the angles and several times a year. You can go out and see something similar to this probably in the next six to seven months. But again, it's the, the coincidence of this with the fall, with the way the atmosphere is and the way that the light will be bent. And it's all these things conspiring together. It takes decades sometimes for this all to happen exactly as it's happening right now. Oh, we have uh, the shot has just changed and we've got an absolutely gorgeous picture of this rusty coloured moon. Keith, I have to tell you, it's the most read story on the BBC News website. We're on it live at the moment. Why do you think we do have such a fascination with these events? Well, I'm always happy when people look up in the sky because there's just always something wonderful happening up there. Again, it's just, the, you know, it's the combination of the big moon. And you always see some of these other stories that say, like, the moon's going to hit the earth. And some people are, are ascribing these other blood moons as some sort of biblical prophecy. So, I mean, every person has a different reason for it. But it is bright and it is big and it is beautiful to look at. And sometimes that's just enough to get people to stop what they're doing, isn't it? Indeed it is. Very quickly, how long will this last? It's going to go on for the next several hours, and it sort of depends where you are. You guys are going to get sunlight soon here in the States. It's, we're going to get to see the whole show, and some, some of the folks on the West Coast of the United States will catch part of it. So it's going to be going on for the next several hours, and it's always going to be changing. The colors will be changing. It'll get darker or brighter and so forth. So it's, if you can watch the whole thing, watch the whole thing. Keith, wonderful to speak to you there for us in Washington. I hope you enjoy the show. Thank you.